great philosopher Confucius said, if your plan is for one year, plant rice. If your plan is for 10 years, plant trees. If your plan is for 100 years, educate children. Today we will see how we are preparing our youth for the 21st century. The transition from junior high to senior high school is a very critical time in a young person's life, often a make it or break it year for many students. Academic success becomes more challenging, as does their ability to stand strong against negative peer pressures. According to the Hazelden Betty Ford Foundation, in order for students to excel and perform well, both academically and personally, it comes down to an approach to education they like to call building assets, reducing risks. Around 2008, Hemet High School was really starting to take a conservative look at the ninth grade failure rate that we are seeing on a consistent basis. So we created a school within a school and kind of just made it up as we went along. And we had some successes with it, but we had probably about a quarter of our ninth grade students involved in the program. The BAR program encompasses the entire ninth grade class. It addresses issues of the transition from middle school to high school. It is a relationship building model and it uses live data which is awesome for teachers to be tracking kids right away. We now were able to address every freshman on our campus. The building assets reducing risks model combines teachers real-time analysis of student data with student asset building and intentional relationship building between teachers and students. The success of the program is evidenced in its substantial reduction of course failure, increased test scores, as well as accelerating middle and high level performers. Schools that have implemented building assets reducing risks have reported dramatically reduced rates of class failure, improved graduation rates, higher achievement scores, and reduction in the use of alcohol, tobacco, and other drug use, regardless of socioeconomic background or ethnicity. In fact, BAR has been shown to reduce educational disparities among groups of students. I asked my son the other day what he thought about the BAR program, and he said, Mom, I've made so many new friends this year because of the BAR program. He's like, Noah is one of my best friends, and I wouldn't even know him if it weren't for the BAR program. I was worried about him handling um, more rigorous work in high school, having more activities, participating in sports, being able to balance all of those things without falling behind. And uh, one thing that I have been so happy with with the BAR program is the way it's enabled him to become just a better communicator overall. I mean, he's built such good, close relationships with his teachers that he's so comfortable talking to them that if there is an issue or he has fallen behind or he missed an assignment or, you know, he's more comfortable now going and talking to his teachers because he has relationships with them and that's helped him academically. Students within the BAR program earn t twice as many credits as those outside of it and in their achievement test uh, scored actually two grades higher in their math testing than those that were in the control group. So the treatment group of BAR really showed significant results. We were very pleased when we were able to go the following year school-wide ninth grade. Every ninth grader was now in the BAR program and we managed to maintain the same results um, as far as uh, reducing the amount of F's that our ninth graders were getting. So prior to BAR we were at about a 30 to 35 percent average of students failing one or more classes as a ninth grader and we've been able to reduce that to 17 percent. BAR extends the reach of highly effective teachers by maximizing opportunities for these teachers to elevate the teaching practices of their peers, both within and across BAR schools. BAR enables schools to target students at a critical moment in their academic lives and to reduce effects that will help to prevent school failure and dropout for these students in the years that follow. BAR is built upon the knowledge that teacher effectiveness is essential to student success and school turnaround, and that it is impacted by a number of intersecting variables. BAR creates highly effective teacher teams using a unique blend of interrelated approaches designed to impact these three critical variables. Once BAR is implemented in a school, veteran teachers choose ninth grade to teach, unlike many high schools where the newest teachers begin their careers. The thing I like about the BAR program is that it 
help students transition into high school in a very deliberate way, very int intentional ways to get them in different activities, to you know, set up your classroom culture in such a way that they're meeting each other, they're continuing to meet new people, whether it be in my iTime activities that are essential part of doing the BAR program where you're teaching them how to relieve anything from relieving stress to um, how to avoid risky behaviors, how to use responding skills to resist peer pressure, and they're in it together as they're experiencing these lessons, they bond with each other. In the bar program, my teachers definitely always had my back. They were looking out for me in everything that I did, um, even including my other classes. So, for example, my I walked into biology one day and my teacher told me, hey, are you going to make up your mile in PE this week? And I was like, how did you know about that? And so I knew that I always they always had my back and they were looking out for me. And, in all my classes, not only there. So it, it made me feel like they really truly cared about me and my success in high school. To learn more about the BAR program or about Hazelden Publishing, a part of the Hazelton Betty Ford Foundation, visit their website at www.hazelden.org forward slash building assets.